do you handle just jumping in in the recruiting process so late? I mean, you got to be honest, but you got to. You got to be yourself, you know. You let the lead recruiters take that and go with it, and you just go in and be yourself and let that kid know, hey, you're a real guy. You're not. I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. And uh, you try to win him over. You know, we were talking about Kyle Dotson and the opportunity to be with him all day, one day. But you know, and it's just take the lead from them other guys, and the other guys do a great job. And just try to make that particular recruit be comfortable around you. And talk with them. As far as Jake, I'm assuming it helped having a prior relationship with him when when you were at Ole Miss. Oh yeah, it sure did. It was amazing because I mean, I'm home. Fired in Oxford, Mississippi, sitting with my wife drinking coffee and the kids calling me. Hey, coach, what's going on? What, what are you doing? What are you up to? And we would talk. I was unemployed, so I could talk to him as much as I want. Uh, I said, hey, I, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what the future holds. I could possibly be somewhere. May or may not. It's just unbelievable how it worked out. What appeals to you about him as a player, and where would you plug him in first? You know, we just have to see. We just knew when we evaluated him. Down there at the last school I was at, that was a tough, hard-nosed kid from the Midwest. Good student, uh, great family. You know, Coach Bielema, of the family structure of this program. The kids he brings in here, Jake fits in here like a good, I mean, a great person. You know, like other any other freshman lineman, you have to just see, you know, when he gets in and see if he's ready for the speed of the game, how physical he's going to be against these kind of kind of players he's going to play against, and, and go from there.